Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Ngannou is two years the elder. He weighed in at 250 pounds even. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last day of Bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting. Out of the red corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make up for you. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice slip and counter there by Adesanya. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, 
Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Adesanya. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right on the button. Gets the inside leg kick to land there. If this guy doesn't move his head, his knight is about to end. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, nice right hand, John. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Adesanya. Oh, nice. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice punch by Francis Ngannou. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under two minutes now to go in round one. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. He blocks the punch. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. What a body kick. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That hurts to watch. Another leg kick lands flush, really causing a lot of damage to those legs of his opponent. Yeah, he's doing a great job of landing the leg kicks for the opponent. He needs to start trying to relax. Relaxation allows you to check kicks. If you're tense, if you're biting on space, if you're biting on the guy just throwing jabs up at your head, you're not going to check kicks. Relax, stay comfortable. Recognize what's coming in your direction. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, huge block! 20 seconds left. Slips to avoid the right. Out of range with that one. Oh, nice right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ganu gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Round two, Francis Ngannou. And on the other side, Israel Adesanya. Oh, 
Big knee there. He got him. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all wins. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 37 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.